the fucks is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for being there. I, I got all your, your, your comments, which I have not answered yet, but I'm going to go ahead and get to it after I finish doing these videos. It is greatly appreciated. Y'all don't know how much it humbles me and makes me know that I'm blessed to have you in my life as well as your being in mine. So with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information that you feel like another fellow empath, you know, needs to find out about it, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing me so much love and support. It is so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And y'all, the, uh, the meditation uh, music that I'm listening to is music to sleep deep and awake up happy. And I will put that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, when the universe needs us to let go of the darkness. Yes, we need to let go of the darkness. Y'all, I've been going through it for the last few days, you know, because there's a lot of things I don't discuss because I just care not to, or it's just because I don't want to unload that, you know, that energy out on y'all. You know, we're already going through enough. You know, I don't need to unload more of my problems on you guys. It's just like, when I go through stuff, I do my videos on the things that I go through, you know, because I know people probably resonate with that situation. Like, every day is not, like, sunshine and rainbows. And it, it can be hard at times. And it was, like, a lot of things that um, I was trying to deal with, especially when it, it has something to do with my dad. It was, like, you know, just talking to him, you know, talking to him and... Uh, basically, since the spiritual union that we had, you know, it's been get, our feelings towards each other has really been intense, and it's just like it gets so confusing at times. And it's just like, you know, people are telling me you need to let go, or you know, you haven't grieved. I have grieved, but this is something like totally different. You know, I've grieved, but I haven't got closure, if that makes sense. You know, I've grieved, but on the part of getting closure of knowing, you know, why did this connection have to be that way, or you know, not not just really getting closure because it's like nothing has been solved yet. But I know from what universe is telling me is bigger. It's a bigger picture out of that whole situation on the reason why nobody's been held responsible for his death and what really truly happened and stuff like that. So it is just like the reason why I can say now is like people are like, Rosalind, I really feel for you, especially if you lost a parent. You know, I've lost two. You know, I lost my adopted mother, which is the only mother I can really, you know, get connection with because my other mom, my biological mom, I never really had attachments to her because it, it was just like already hard for her that she had to give me up. So she never, you know, did skin to skin or, you know, just talk to me or anything like that because it's like anytime I try to reach out to her metaphysically, it's always blocked. So it was like a painful thing for her. So she just, instead of that, she just blocked me out of her life. And I mean, it's understandable. It's a hurtful feeling, but it's, a, you know, it's understandable. But um, when it comes to my dad, and if you see my videos before you've been with me for a while, you know who my father is. You know, there there's things that, there's still a sensitive subject for me, but it's becoming easier. Because of the fact is, I was resisting a lot of things that, you know, he wanted me to be happy. You know, he doesn't, um, there's a lot of things he really can't get into. Just like there are certain things that, I, that he doesn't know about me or whatever. But it's like, he wants me to be happy. He doesn't want me reflecting on, you know, what my, my family has put me through. Because it's like, you know, whatever you put out, you're going to get back anyway. Because it's like... If you already know if you've been in a situation where, you know, like a family member has been taken away, and then you come to find out all these dark things about it, 
me it's like hard to put it you know I, I hope and pray nobody's never been through something like my like I went through because that's a hard pill to swallow it's just finding out who your your biological family is after everything has came to pass and then on top of that I didn't find out the truth until after he died you know so it was just like I always knew I had a connection with my father but really, you know, anytime I ask questions about it, either I would get punished about it or our family will always change the subject. And I never knew why, you know, pe you know, my family would get so uneasy about that situation. But now it's like, oh, OK, now I get it. But it, it was just like universe is telling me, you know, my dad doesn't want me to be sad, doesn't want me to sit up here and. You know, even though I've forgiven my family, it, it's just like certain things will come back and it'll trigger me. So obviously there are certain things on my life that when it pertains to them going through so much abuse with my adopted family, well, my adopted father, I didn't really go through that much with my mom. It was just the fact that she was going through so much. It reflected out on me because her husband left her because of the fact that she wanted me to be involved in my father's life. So for me to have to think, you know, yes, she's my mom, but she's also human too. You know, she went through a lot of situations. So when universe is telling you, you know, it, it will make you go down in the dumps, down in the dumps, make you go rock bottom. If you are resisting what they're trying to, you know, send so many signs of you need to let this go, you will go to the rock bottom. I mean, go pit, just get smacked like with reality. They, they want you to really heal from that because it's like it's not doing any good for you to sit up here and wander about shoulda, coulda, wouldas. You know, things have happened for a certain reason. You, you've you gone through certain situations for a reason. It's just like, you know, I'm seeing my friends, especially people I grew up with, their, you know, family members, especially, you know, brothers at a young age passing away and they don't understand why. You know, that that's a hard pill to swallow. You know, I can feel my friend's pains, you know, because I, I, one of my friends that I went to school with, their their younger brother, had the, the baby had passed away unresponsive. They don't know what happened. And that, you know, I can feel their energy through, you know, the things they post on social media. And, you know, I cry for them because it's just like, I know what that feels like when things have been snatched away from you and you don't know the reason why. And it's just as us as empaths, it really hits us hard when we can feel people that, you know, we don't even relate to. But when them telling their story, it can really mess with you, you know, because you're getting that energy that they, you know, they feel. So that's the reason why a lot of times when I tell y'all, you know, if I didn't make a video for the last two days, this is the reason why. Because there's stuff that I need to reflect on. There's, you know, I, I don't feel comfortable with coming back out and knowing I have this heaviness in my heart to be able to f reflect or project that towards y'all. So I'd rather go through that situation and then come back to y'all when I'm okay. And I'll tell you the reason why, <laughs> you know, hey, this is what was going on. So it was just like a lot of reflecting I was doing the last couple of days. And plus we had a really big, big, big tornado here yesterday. And thank God we're, we were all safe. But it's like where I can feel you know, everything, it felt like the house was shaking and everything. I'm like, oh God, you know, I'm just like praying that the animals are okay outside and, you know, we would be okay and people around us. But there were so many people, because I'm in Georgia, there's a lot of people that got hit between where I stay at because we're on the Georgia-Alabama state line. So there was a lot of people that got hit over there because I got some friends that I used to go to school with. They were showing pictures on Facebook. You know, I was just like, oh my gosh, that was just so close. But going through these things, when universe needs you to go, you, you, you have went through so many turmoils, you, you went through so many trials and tribulations, and knowing it served its purpose, even though a lot of times we don't understand why we went through it, but if it's just to wake up our spirituality on our spiritual gifts, it that could be the reason why you're going through that. Because you could have been walking around in life trying to figure out what your purpose was until something so traumatic has came into your life and just smack, smack reality into it. Like, dag, this is so messed up. And it's sad that it has to go that way. But it's like your story is going to help somebody else. It's like you're going through something and it helps so many others. Just, just like when I sit up here and get frustrated and I ask God, there's so many times I've cried, y'all. I've cried and cried and cried and asked God, why did I have to go through this? Why did I have to find out the way I found out? 
this was my father. You know, even though there's times that I, I had a chance to meet him, but with my family being very deceptive on the how they were trying to bring us together, it made me stay away. Because it's like, you know, from a family that's mentally, emotionally, and physically abusive, all of a sudden got surprises for you. I'm like, hell no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what kind of surprises you got for me, but you ain't never had no good, anything good happen. And then with my dad being in their house and I can come past there next, you know, I got this, you know, feeling like I need to step back. And anytime my dad was like, come connection with me, I always had that drawback. Like I would trip over stuff like, what's that? Why, why am I feeling that way every time we come in connect, contact like that? So it was like, I had to really go through that. And that was the reason why I would cry, you know, because especially with a lot of people having fan pages of my dad or whatever, I would constantly see my dad's pictures. And usually it wouldn't bother me because I know that's love that people have for him. But then all of a sudden, since the spiritual connection has went about, he's really been hitting me hard. So, you know, going through this all has a purpose to it. It's just knowing when you're, you're, you, you have been in a dark place it's not meant for you to stay there you know it really isn't it's it's just like find its purpose on the reason why you did it or just forgive and let go and it's not to forgive the people just to forgive them but it's just to give you a peace of mind like this is not meant for you to hold on to so it's just like I knew that I, I you know I resisted that that's the reason why I was having so many so much of a hard time because I was trying to hold on to all the even though the joyful things that me and my father experienced together but I was also holding on to the dark reason reason why we're not together so you know knowing when you're going through something there's a reason for everything that you go through but when it comes to the dark side it's not meant for you to stay in that dark side it's for you to get the lesson out of the situation and move on so I hope you are able to resonate with content in this video. I'm going to say much love. I'm giving my shout out to newcomers. I, I mean, the channel is growing like crazy. So I really do appreciate this, y'all. When y'all, you know, you send people my way and, you know, there's a lot of different people are trying to find out about themselves, which is a true blessing. So I'm giving um, my shout out to Jonas uh, Cologne. I think that's how you pronounce it, your name. I apologize if I didn't. Fourth Force and Mandy Man Manda Luke Lolu. I think that's how you pronounce it. And much love to y'all. And I will go ahead and holler at y'all on the next video. Um, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day and hope and pray that y'all have, you know, a, a great week and blessed week. Many blessings coming your way. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And like I do as well. And remember, like and subscribe. Drop me a line. Share the video. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace. And be wild.